What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales of the Rays video. So, I kind of knew this was coming, and if you watch my Tales of the Rays live stream, I did possibly hint at it uh, last night. But we have the official trailer, PV, for the next upcoming collab, which is going to be with Don Machi. Uh, which is actually very interesting. You know, it's kind of one of those ones that's kind of out there that I wasn't really expecting. I do play the Don Machi Gotcha game, which is kind of interesting that it's not getting... It may be getting one at the same time, but as of right now, the Don Machi Gotcha has not announced a collab. And their next collab apparently is supposed to be in spring. So unless they're just going to collab with Tails later on, um, it doesn't seem like they're going to be doing them at the same time. But so... This should be the next event, so when the current event with the, the whole Triverse stuff leaves on the 31st, this uh, collab should be starting, and I assume it's just going to be a one-part collab. Um, I don't think it's going to be like Slayers, where we had... Well, Slayers wasn't it really a two-part. I guess it kind of was, because we got one banner at one time and one in another, and then like with Gintama, how we got two separate parts of the event. I think this is just going to be kind of a one-and-done type deal. So we'll get two characters, and then uh, three uh, collab mirror charts. And I think it'll be the normal time of an event, so probably like two weeks uh, for an event. But uh, I'm really excited about this because I do really like Don Machi as a series. Um, some people may not be happy about this. Some people may not really care because we are so close to the anniversary. But I can tell you this much. At least for the exclusive Don Machi characters, I will be doing their, uh, their diamond step up. But let's, uh, make sure this is turned down a bit. Let's just go into what we're actually going to be getting for this collab. So let's hop in. And they are using the season three variants of these kids. So it looks like we're getting three characters. I don't know how Hestia is going. Obviously, okay, Bell, Eyes, Hestia. I don't know how Hestia is going to be playable. I assume they're going to probably do something with her where it's like kind of silly. For her attacks, um, where she's not really... She might be like a healer or something, but uh, she's definitely not going to be very physical heavy. So it looks like we are getting these three as the characters, the way they're kind of showing it off here. But let's see. That might not necessarily be the case. So Don Machi, uh, they had the three, and then Tales of the Rays, Last Cradle. I'm so happy about that. I don't care. This is going to get copyrighted. Whatever. So, for those who don't know, Kirito and Bell share the same Japanese voice actor. So, we literally just have, like, Kirito and Bell, <laughs> if you use them together, they're just going to sound exactly the same, which is kind of funny. So, um, Bell is probably going to be a dual wielder for his regular combat. Um, and then, obviously, this is his mirage artwork right here. Very happy about that. Here's the artwork for Eyes, which uh, this is part of Season 3 when she was basically trying to stop him. Um, not going to go into details of, you know, spoilers and stuff, but as we all know, Tales of the Rays doesn't care about spoilers. Maybe they held off on this collab because they wanted the season to end first. Okay, so they just showed Hestia there. I don't know what that actually says, but I'm guessing she's going to be probably one of the room characters. So kind of like how we have the Orosaurin, we have uh, Claire, and we have Karia. Hestia is probably going to be one of those room characters, is my guess. Because they didn't show anything for, like, mirror artwork or anything. So, um, there are characters that match... Uh, I guess voices or just I, I don't know which characters match voices or what have you but some are going to get uh collab marriage arts because of their sharing voices or because what the, these two are both elves so it kind of makes sense um so we'll we'll get to see a quick look so there you go there's uh Archie just as Ryu we're gonna get Tyr dressed up as Hestia and we are getting uh, Lila dressed up as Haruhime, which is pretty neat there. And then we're going to get to see some of these, uh, their mirage arts right here and some of their arts and stuff. Okay.
And then, of course, that's when, for those who know, that's when Bell was fighting uh, Asterius. And they show Asterius right there, kind of as like a tease right there. So Asterius is most likely going to be the raid boss uh, for this collab. That is my guess. So this is the collab. So we've got we've got Bell and Eyes as the playable characters. Hestia is probably going to be a room character, so you'll probably be able to buy her from the uh, the event shop, or she'll be like a points reward thing. And then these three right here, you know, Archie. Tyr and Lila will be getting seasonals for those characters. And they don't give us a date, but it's definitely going to be uh, starting on the 31st, which is this Sunday. So uh, hopefully uh, those who like Don Machi haven't been spending a whole lot. I've been saving specifically because I expected that a collab would be coming. Um, you know, before the anniversary, so I think I'll definitely, I don't, I'm not really sure I care about these seasonals here, because I have double mirror jarts for Tyr, I have double mirror jarts for Lila, I don't have anything for Archie, but I don't really use her, so I don't know if I'm gonna go for these three, I don't really care too much, but I will definitely, uh, for these two right here, I want to make sure I have both their mirror jarts, and I want to make sure I have all their weapons, so... I assume they're only going to get one five-star, so as long as I get all their four-stars, their five-star, and their mirror jart, um, I will be happy with uh, those two right there. Unfortunately, <laughs> we have we have Belle, uh, you know, who shares the same voice as Kirito, but still no Kirito rerun. You know, hopefully it'll come back someday, but uh, this is pretty much what we're getting right here. And then, of course, we'll have another PV in the beginning of February that will... Tease us for everything leading up to the anniversary, but I'm sure they're going to withhold the anniversary stuff to actually show us on the live stream, like what's going to be coming from the anniversary. So the PV next week or the week after will probably have like whatever Valentine's event we're going to get if we're going to get one and then probably some other event, you know, right before uh, the anniversary actually starts. So very exciting here. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you excited for a Don Machi collab? Do you not really care? Um, I, I'm, I'm just happy, you know, if, if I get Bell and Isa's stuff pretty fast, I might go, you know, if they have the same kind of step up they had for the Slayers thing, where we can do a step up for, uh, with diamonds for these ones, I might do it just because, you know, I, it wouldn't be bad to beef up Tyr and, um, Lila a bit more since I don't really have too much for them. The last thing I pulled for Tyr was honestly... It was her decisive mirror jart at the two-year anniversary. I think that's the last time I pulled anything for her. So she could definitely use with some beefing up. But my main focus is to make sure I get these two playable. So that way I can have Belle and Kirito on the same team. Uh, that'd be pretty funny. But uh, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.